Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is UC Toy Reviews. How you guys doing? So I've got something a little different here. This is a Predator 2 figure from a company called Exquisite Mini. And the cool thing about this is that it's ultra detailed and has lots of articulation, but it's in a smaller four inch scale. So a lot of the adult collectible toys that you find out there that have this level of detail and articulation usually are in the six to seven inch scale things like you know marvel legends or like NECA figures that kind of thing and so it's kind of cool to see one that's in a smaller four inch scale because these are the ones that i actually prefer i prefer things in this scale because they're smaller that you can fit more of them on a shelf and you know they uh kind of remind me of the toys i grew up with you know things like uh star wars or gi joe that kind of thing right so let's take a look at it. It's kind of hard to get this in the camera without getting a glare from my ring light in it. So just to kind of show you the box here, this is the Predator from Predator 2. Um, let's kind of show you the back. Pretty cool stuff, you know. This is uh, from a company called Exquisite Mini. And here's the back. And they have this collector-friendly front window here. Let me see if I can get a, a close-up of that without getting all that glare on there. One of these days I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this without that being a problem, but anyway you can see it comes with lots of accessories. It comes with a human spine and uh, you know different hands and that kind of thing and the spear and all that and it actually looks really cool. Like check out that sculpt. And this level of detail you don't usually see it in figures this small so anyway um, let's go ahead and open this guy up. So I've actually had this hanging out here for quite a while. And, uh, just been waiting to, um, get to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, now this company, um, has lots of different figures on their website. Uh, among them alien figures, um, you know. So, and they're like ultra detailed uh, four inch um, you know alien figure stuff like that and a couple of other ones but okay so here's the predator all right, let's take whoa okay the minute I took that off all of these hands and things straight fell out <laughs> so we just make sure those don't go everywhere but before we do that let's take a closer look so you can take a look at that sculpt check that out man that is crazy stuff. And it, it, that looks really good. And you don't usually see that level of detail in this scale like this. So that's kind of awesome. Okay. So what does it come with? It comes with this sort of base, concrete base here. Let's set that back there. Uh, I'm not really sure what these H things are. That's weird. Um, this was one of the weapons from out of the movie, if you if you remember. This is actually the um, staff that he has, and it kind of telescopes, if you remember, Predator 2 with, uh, that was the one with Danny Glover. Here's the uh, extended staff. A bunch of different hands, so you can kind of have them in different poses and stuff like that, if you want him to have open hands or whatever, if he's not grasping something. Here's the uh, little bladed, you know, disc weapon that Danny Glover steals from him. <laughs> and it comes with a human spine. Dude, that's awesome. Check that out. And look at the look at the detail on that, man. Just even on this, even on this accessory. Look at that. That's really cool. So let's take him out of there. Uh, what else is this? Oh, this is the little this is the little shoulder cannon that attaches to a shoulder. Check that out. Check out the shoulder cannon. Even on something that small. Look how, like, you know, detailed that is. All right. And, okay, hey, it didn't have all kinds of, like, rubber bands and stuff keeping it in there. That's kind of cool. I always appreciate that. I think this box is made so that you can easily take the figure out and then put it back in later. So let's take a look at what he looks like. Really, really awesome sculpt there. Really cool. I like how all of the little uh, little dreadlocks and things are hanging out. Does a mask come off? That would be awesome if the mask came off. 
Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like the mask actually comes off. That's too bad. That would have been cool to get the predator face. Yeah, the mask is stuck on there. That would have been really cool to get the predator face on this. But that's unfortunate. Um, got, uh, so the articulation is sort of like G.I. Joe's. Oh, wow, that just fell off. Where did that, where did that go? I think this went on his shoulder. Yeah, that's a shoulder. Okay. So, uh, let's see. We've got sort of a ball joint on the shoulder and then also on the elbows and then swivel on the wrists same over here uh the joints are really tight see that always scares me when the joints are really really tight on these things because you're you know i'm afraid that i'm gonna like break it you know what i'm saying <laughs> so let's see okay that twists around He's got sort of a little predator handbag purse thing going, okay. And, alright, yeah, see, that's like almost too tight. It's like I feel like I'm gonna like snap that if I like bend that too much. Same thing with the legs, pretty cool. Um, so the articulation, if you've ever bought, um, say, Marvel Universe figures in this scale, it's pretty much the same articulation, so very close to something that you would see in the six inch scale um i'm really really these are really tight the shoulders oh it was backwards oh that's why okay <laughs> so it was bent around like that so i'm trying to turn it that way but no it was really backwards wait is, is the same thing over here is that why this isn't moving no uh no okay this one is just tight all right so this one is actually really tight on this side and i don't want to it feels like it's going to break if I try to move that too much, so I'm not going to, you know. But this one actually is nice and, okay, so that's loose. All right, that's good. And let's take a look at the back there. Wow, look at that. Look at that armor, man. That's really cool. Even to get it in that, you know, so small like that. <laughs> Pretty awesome stuff. So let's set him up over here on top of his uh, thing here. Does that go on? Okay, is that going to go in his foot? Uh, it fits, okay. I didn't have to jam that on there too hard. And let's say, give him the uh, spear in one hand. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's see, that goes in there. Alright. Will that fit? Or is, it, is the spear supposed to go in this hand? Okay. There we go. Looking pretty good, and then it, this armor just came right off. Um, so I'm getting the feeling, yeah, these are not really made to be played with, obviously. These are adult toy things that you just display, you know. Uh, let's zoom in just a little bit on that so you can uh, check it out. There you go. So yeah, I don't think this would handle, you know, um, this would do very well with, like, you know, rough handling uh, let's see, are there directions for this? Let's see, what else came with it? This is the background to the thing, so that's kind of cool. Then it came with this, let's zoom out some. This came in the package too. Are these the different predators? Okay, cool, so these are the different actual predators that you can buy from them. You have this stalker predator, and then the lost predator, I guess he's like green or whatever. Shaman Predator, that's the guy at the end that uh, shows up and gives Danny Glover the pirate gun, if you remember that. He's like, take it. Scout Predator, okay, that's cool. What's on the back here? Ooh, there's even more. Damn, there's a lot of Predators. Okay, City Hunter, then you have a Guardian Predator, I don't know why there's so many. Boar Predator, alright, weird. Shadow Predator. You can't. You probably can't really see these through the camera, but that's okay. This is a Warrior Predator, Elder. Okay, so looks like they have like, wow, eight different figures. That's kind of cool. I did see a bunch on the website. I didn't really count them. I know they also have alien figures and then like other ones that are like fantasy based stuff like that. No real instructions. I'm not really sure what some of this stuff is, like these these little H things. I don't really know what these are. You know, I'm guessing they go on here somewhere. I don't really know. And then, uh, let's see. Where does the shoulder cannon attach? 
Um, usually it's on this side, right? Yeah, see, I don't really see a... There's no peg or anything for the shoulder cannon. That's kind of strange. Um, yeah, there doesn't really appear to be any place to put this on. Oh wait, there it is. It goes there. Okay, so this... That's on the wrong side. Well, actually, no. I don't think that's the right place. That doesn't look right. Right there. See that? Yeah, that's not supposed to go there. That's supposed to go like some, you know, the shoulder cannon thing is supposed to actually, you know, stick off, off of the shoulder like that. Unless this is something else. Unless this goes on his wrist or something, you know? I don't know. There, it, it didn't look like there, there weren't any instructions, so that's kind of bad. I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to go online and figure out where that's supposed to go. But, uh, it doesn't just attach to his shoulder. No, it doesn't. Okay. Anyway, that is pretty awesome, though. So, I'm very happy, very, very happy with the sculpt for this. Extremely happy with that sculpt. Let's zoom in some more just so you guys can appreciate how awesome this thing looks. <laughs> very happy with the sculpt. Very happy with the articulation. Um, I like all these different options that you can give it if you wanted to. I could take these hands off and then put, like, new hands on it. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Show the hand. Right. There you go. I think if I wanted to, I could, like, trade up for all these different parts. That's kind of cool. Show him with different weapons. Show him, uh, you know, I could give him his, uh, his trophy. He just went and killed somebody, you know. Arnold is screaming at him, get to the chopper. Right. Is that going to fit in his hand? I don't know. Whatever. Let's not worry about that. I really do like that. Um... I think some cons are this is doesn't feel like it would really hold up to any actual handling, right? This is obviously not meant to be played with, so this is not for children. This arm is too... I can't bend this arm. It, it's too tight. It's gonna break. <laughs> so that's kind of bad, you know, that joint. And then this thing keeps falling off, this little uh, armor thing. So. This is definitely not made to be handled, not made to be, you know, posed around too much or played with by a child. It would break in half. But overall, it's actually pretty awesome. And, you know, most of the people that buy something like this, they're just going to basically put it on a shelf and look at it. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to, like, you know, maybe pose it in some kind of battle scene or something. I'm not going to be, like... You know, I'm not going to be, like, playing with this, like, a, you know what I mean? So, it's, uh, pretty awesome. These guys retail for around $20. You can get them on their website, Exquisite Mini. Um, I think I got this one at a con a little while ago, so I've been hanging on to it. And, uh, for what you get, man, that's actually really nice. I really like this, man. I think, I think I'm going to have to go on there and buy some of their alien figures, too. Anyway, everybody, um, have a happy Halloween, and adios.